Hey guys. Hey. I'm Sean from uh, Our Bit Lifestyle and Carmen. Uh, just so we'd throw in a little bit of a review. We've been here for nearly five weeks. We're in the lovely town of Naruma. I'll just show you a bit about the town. You can see in the background the views of the water. Uh, a little bit about us. We've been married seven years. Uh, we've been now on the road for four or five months. Yeah, five about months. that, yeah. About that. Um, but yeah, we thought we'd just wrap a little review of what it's been like here in the room for the last four and a half weeks and what we've done, what we've done with the kids and just give it an overall picture and then we'll throw some slides up as we're talking. So yeah. I'll throw it over to Carmen. She, she's been here the most. Yeah. Um, probably you can have a chat about yeah. where we stay. I would say the Surf Beach Holiday Park. So if you don't know where Naruma is, we're actually in the Sapphire Coast, so it's the southern part of New South Wales. Uh, if you know where Batemans Bay is, about an hour and a half south of Batemans Bay, and then you hit the Sapphire Coast. So you've got Bega, where the cheese comes from, obviously, and some other great little towns, but we've honked here in Naruma. So, and at the Surf Beach Holiday Park, which is at the base of the golf course, and then it's got the other eight holes on the other side. Uh, the little Nippers Club down the bottom, uh, beautiful beach. Great little park, not massive, but a really nice size. Stunning views of the ocean. I will um, say, if you drop into the park, you have to get sight 63 and 64. Yeah, 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 yeah. You like wake gold. up and you look at the ocean yeah. the whole time. Unfortunately, with our big setup, we couldn't get on there. No. Um, the park is full, but if you do stay at the caravan park, make sure yeah, you book 63 yeah, or yeah. site 64. Yeah, you will spots. just be amazed. Yeah, definitely. It's a great park, a uh, really good price point too, so you know, not over the top. We're really happy with what we paid um, per week. Very accommodating for the fact that we've got such a large van truck and we may have added to our family of vehicles while we, uh, we're here in Naruma. So we went out for an ice cream and came back with a Land Cruiser. So very expensive ice cream on our behalf, but very accommodating for us at the moment. Plus we have the two dogs, two kids. so. Great location, so you know, hook up with Shannon and Mark there at the Surf Beach Holiday Park in Naruma. They also are pet friendly and they're part of the Family Parks team, so I think they do offer the Family Parks uh, discount. Shannon and Mark, you've got two boys, uh, Oliver and Zach. They're Oscar both and Zach. Oscar and Zach. Yeah. Sorry, Mark. Yeah. Um, both boys, great kids. Yeah. They're fantastic for our kids to play around with on as well. Yep. Um, we put the kids into some sporting while we're in town. Yeah, so we... sure. So they did uh, nippers, which was great. So they did board training on a Friday, and then also on a Sunday morning, actually did nippers just at the park at the base of the caravan park, and then also completed the very first carnival in Pavula last weekend, which was great. And then we put them into swim squad. So they've got an aquatic center and indoor pool. Yeah, the pool. And we did training. Just there, yeah. right there in our background. Yeah, and that's where they did their training two days a week, which was great. And then also with the other kids that they met in town, we just let them go off and ride to their friends' houses that they... Let's get a press pause. We've got the big lawnmower behind right. There goes our lawnmower. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Noisy. Hopefully here is now. Yeah. So the kids met some really um, other cool kids from school, which was great. So they'd all get on their push bikes and just bang around town and ride to each other's house and play. So that was School. That's awesome. right. We enrolled them in school. Yeah, so Naruma... Um, State school, which was brilliant, and quite a large school, over 400 students. So I think they've got about two and a half to three uh, sort of classrooms of each age group, which was great. So the kids had a ball. Sporty. Yep, sport, school. So that sort of kept them pretty much occupied, and really we even saw them if they were hungry, thirsty, or needed to go to bed. And that's one of the biggest things that we've ensured, like yeah. the routine with the kids. Um, when you hear a lot of people travelling. The hardest thing they speak about is kids making friends yeah. and obviously as you guys know when you're in the caravan park when it is uh, just normal turns for schools there's yeah. not a lot of kids in the caravan park so yeah. honestly this is making our trip so oh, worthwhile throwing the kids into school. God sent I tell ya. I got home last night from being offshore for two weeks and then all of a sudden the kids said hi dad, bye dad we're yeah. going to Patrick's place yeah. and they're out of there, yeah. they're gone, they just know their curfew back at five yeah. o'clock so yeah. throw them into schools, they're just meeting other kids, we're meeting other parents. Yeah. Um, Great way for the, the kids to interact with the community and just learn how to have communication yeah. and yeah, stuff definitely. like that. And for us, putting them into school, so we always purchase at least one or two of the school uniform shirts uh, just to support the school. And it is a compulsory place you want the kids to feel like they're, you know, uh, sort of part of the school. And I always carry enough stationary supplies in the truck that I can send them in with a pencil case of their bits and pieces. And they happily slot in, and no school said no to us yet. They're happy to have them, whether it be for a, a four weeks, a two 
whatever it is. We're thinking our kids, they want to go to school, yeah. but we, we're confident when we enroll in the school, we have a meeting with the principal, the deputy principal. Yeah. Our kids, we just know they're going to be well behaved, they're respectful, yeah. they use their manners, yeah. so we know that they're going to hop into a school and they're not going to disrupt the class. Yeah, so that totally. They really do adapt and, and really, yeah. most of the teachers said it's been their like since grade prep. Yeah. Okay, Naruma, what about Naruma? Um, so me, pretty. Like, just have a look in that background. Yeah. Uh, one thing about Naruma I love, we're down in the Surf Beach Caravan Park. Every morning they wake up before the sun rises, take the dogs for a walk. I usually do my workout, you see in the gym and everything like that. And then I'll finish off with a 4K run around the boardwalk. The boardwalk is amazing. It starts from basically where we are in the caravan park. And I can run four kilometres all the way around to the bar, which is way out the back there. Yeah. Once I got to the bar, I'm not running back another four. Then I just have a walk back. So it really fulfilled a nice yeah. hour walk on the water. Um, you'll see some amazing pictures I'm showing you now on the screen. It is just unbelievable. I've never seen water as clear as it. Yeah, uh, so many activities the kids can do. You can go ocean, you can surf. There's a lot of surf beaches around here. A lot of walking. We've done some amazing walks in the water. You see seals, manta rays, like bigger than your car. Yeah. Fishing, so, fishing, fishing, fishing. Yeah, we caught our first flathead yeah. and our little baby fishing snapper in our everywhere. titty. There's heaps of um, charter boats here, so you can get out in a charter and scoot out. That's Montague Island. Yeah, Montague Island if you want. So, um, it's a good little town. It's definitely got enough uh, facilities to keep you going. So, there is a Woolworths, which is great. So, if you're a family, you know it's expensive if you go to uh, the Independence all the time. So, that's really good. But then we are only 30 minutes or 45 minutes away from the other towns that have got more facilities if you need them. So, uh, you're not short of anything in town, which is which is great. Yep. We sort of just settled in. And really good base. Like yeah. I said, Carmen's been out to Maruya. Um, Bergamui, Pamela. Bergamui. Ambula, um, went down to Marimbula. I took the kids down for a boys weekend down to Tathra, um, yep. little Tilba. Tilba's beautiful, got to go to little country Tilba, little dinky little street. If you've uh, ever been to Gallery Walk up near Tambourine, it's just a tiny version of that, you know, cheese and fudge and chocolate and all that gourmet stuff. So yeah, I might have come back a kilo heavier yeah. after that day. <laughs> we had a bit of a, a, bit of a blur, but we all trained that morning, so we thought we uh, deserved it, which yep. was good. Uh, where to now? So we're just we're about to head down to the kids got their school cross country yep. uh, on just behind us. I'll actually show you. That's over there. Uh, so we're heading over there. Um, once the kids finish that, we're back to the caravan. And the truck load up, and we've got a busy month ahead of us. A lot of driving. A lot of driving. A lot of action. Like we're down yeah. to the AFL weekend. Go watch the Catch yep. V Hawks, the MCG, uh, off to the Mount Snow River Bush Carry Festival. On. Yep. And then we're also heading Gold up to the Commonwealth Games. Yeah, we're going to watch uh, events at the Gold Coast, yeah. up to Ellie Beach, and then probably land ourselves up at Atherton yep. around about 15th, 16th of April. A lot of caves, a lot of time. A lot of caves, a lot of driving. But yeah, huge yeah. thanks to our followers. And one yeah, big thing guys. why we're, I suppose, out on social media is just to show people and families yeah. that there are ways you can get out and, I suppose, not live life, but just explore life. and. A lot of parents will wait till the kids growing up and finish school and keeping them routine, but we've just found the kids are absolutely yeah. absorbing the yeah. whole everything that's going on. And schooling's yeah. been great. The schools yeah. have been too. Yeah. Uh, it's just been a great experience. Yeah. So. And I think you know, to be really honest, because what are we sort of yeah four, four and a half months in? The first three months, a little bit prickly at times, to be honest. If I'm going to say that, but you've got to kind of just go, okay, well, why is it getting prickly, and how can we resolve it? So yeah, we had a plan. But we've had to adapt to change our plan to work what works for me, for Sean, for the kids, for the dogs, the truck, the van and everything else. So guys, don't beat yourself up too much if things start to go a bit pear shape or you're just like, what am I doing? Change, change the plan if you can, you know, look for other avenues. Honestly, putting our kids in schooling has been my saving grace. I, I don't know what to say, what could have happened. I had to go to school, but you know, I'm still smiling now. So. Kids are smiling, kids aren't bored, yeah. like you probably know the, the old saying, kids hang around and they won't go, oh, bored, mum, bored, dad, yeah. and then you, some parents will give in to technology and just yeah. throw them on an iPad or something, but yeah. our boys, we haven't turned the TV on once since I've been yeah. home in a caravan, no. uh, not once have the kids asked for a TV, a yeah. PlayStation, to play games on an iPad. They probably go to their friend's house and do it. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's why they weren't scooting off to their friend's house, um, it's good yeah. they're on the... Went to the golf club last night for dinner. Yeah. So if you are in the room, uh, great food oh, there at the golf, to go to the golf club. club. Yeah. And amazing golf course. So oh. we had a hit one day and 
it was pretty good fun. It's just a, a great laugh with Carmen and I. We I took think the buggy I, out. I think Bobby bought 20 balls and came back with two because I yeah. may have put a few in the ocean. But um, it's, yeah, it was really, really good fun. You've got to play a round of golf there if you get a chance and just get to enjoy the area and stroll around the streets. You know, we tried to support a couple of local businesses here in our time. We had a bit of work done on our hand cruiser and stuff like that. So if you can, you Got know. Got the boat loader made yeah. up. Thanks, Pete, from PR Engineering. Yeah. Um, that's awesome. That's the boat up anymore. Thanks for doing the work on the land cruiser. Thank you Who's so that? much. Naruma Auto Electrics. Yep. So they did the work there. Brent and his, um, his office ladder. So that was really good. And Stay in touch. Um, any, questions? any questions? Yeah, shout out if you want to know anything. Just holler, ask a question if you want a video of something because it's going to interest you. Let us know. We can do that too. Right. Cool, we'll round it up and we'll speak to you soon. Thanks, yeah. guys. Bye.